All right, I'm here at the Tesla charger right before going on a road trip. Something I always recommend everybody do. Um, just get your, if you're gonna have an adapter here and you would just wanna make sure uh, before you go on a road trip that your, uh, <laughs> that your adapter works, Tesla account's working. I just do that just because I don't charge at a Tesla super supercharger that much. So, all right, let's see how this does and it'll be awesome. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can get this to work here. Basically, you take this. It has to fit in there pretty snug. And then this thing has to lock. There it goes. Snapped in there. There we go. Just gotta push it in tight enough. So that's one way to do it. It's gonna go ahead and start charging because I plugged it in, but I'm gonna I'm gonna stop it here in a second. So I really like the plug and play, so that's one way to do it. You just plug it in and looks like things are <laughs> things are going good with the adapter and so this is how this is why i do this i want to make sure and test it make sure it's all working and all good to go now we're going to look here and we're going to get the uh the app set up so then what you do because this is cheaper doing it through the app you find the available one and then you click start charging but what i'm going to do is i'm going to stop this first because <laughs> i don't want that's a lot much uh much more expensive rate so it's 3d so i'm gonna hit start charging unknown error occurred okay so then i'm gonna unplug it plug it back in and we'll see what happens here get this out of here charge here start charging so basically you have to make sure it's unplugged first then just attach it it's a little bit of a snug fit and then it'll start charging but now it's going to do it through the app instead of the truck so I'm testing out both ways for it to charge and it's going at 167 kilowatts right now 168 so it's doing pretty good actually so just as i don't know if you could hear me out there but basically what i was saying is there's two different ways to do it um you basically you just plug it in i have the plug in uh the plug and play set up so basically it just plug and charge and I, I really like that that's pretty cool the other thing the reason why i do it through the app though is because it's about 10 cents a kilowatt hour cheaper so i think that's actually <laughs> worth it so basically you just turn on the app so i had to stop it then uh you just start charging it through the app i had to unplug it and plug it back in so anyways that's what you do before you go on a trip if there's a tesla supercharger near you and you're planning on using them on a trip i always just like to make sure that uh the adapter's working and everything unless of course you use it all the time but i haven't used my adapter in a few months actually so anyways i just charge it home what it, what do i need an adapter for unless i'm going on a trip so anyways i really like this a2z adapter ford i hadn't received mine yet so we'll just keep charging here and i will let you know uh what what the results are at the end we are done charging here at tesla and i'll show you what we actually got up to we we're at 40 something percent and we are now at 86 percent and so it's still charging a little bit but that should be enough uh, i'm going to charge it the rest of the way at home because every time you go on a trip you want to make sure that you are uh you are good to go so here's what we got here's the total 
so we've been sitting here for about 30 minutes and we got 60 kilowatts it's now charging at a 50 kilowatt rate but it always slows down once you get up to 80 percent so yeah let's go ahead and unplug i'll show you how to do that now So basically it's really simple. You just hit stop charging. Right there on the app, it'll say charging stop. You can also hit that button right there too. So that'll also do it. And then you just unplug it. It's a little tight there, you just release that. So you just release that and then you put this uh, you take the adapter off and then you should be good to go plug it up and that's how we do it thank you guys for watching i'll see you on the next video and we'll get on the road and it'll be awesome and we'll just charge at a bunch more tesla stations and let you know how it goes